Good evening, my little Kruger babies. Ooh, Kruger babies. That'd be a good candy. Like, sugar babies, but all like... Freddy eyes? How would you Freddy eyes candy? Hmm. Boston baked beans, like a roasted flavor? So, my October horror blog finally showed up the day before the terrifying election. Wow. I don't know why I got my horror blog so late. But I'm not going to question it because there are a couple of interesting things going on here. Number one, it is now wrapped in plastic. Is it because there's something perishable in here? Is there something rotted and it's holding in the fresh juices? I don't know. But also, they redesigned the box, which I highly approve because we have Freddy represented and we also have a gremlin, Stripe even. So that's cool. New box, new wrapping job. I don't know if the wrapping is because some people were losing items from their boxes occasionally, but I never had that problem. But whatever it is, it's like, protection. It's like ribbed for her pleasure. But it's not ribbed. So I guess her pleasure isn't really a concern of horror blocks. Now is it? Selfish. Okay, so I have managed to avoid spoilers, which is very hard to do when all my favorite people are opening their freaking horror blocks in front of me. Rude. So we're just gonna dive right in, and we're gonna see... Ew. Sorry, number one, like, the inside of the box is just impressive, and it looks like... There's like a Dragon Ball, there's like the Death Star, there's My Little Pony? I guess this is like representing all the boxes, like the geek boxes and the comic boxes and the stuff. I can only assume, and the shirt is right here on top, so we're just gonna look at that real quick. I see Haddonfield on the shirt, which is perfect for Halloween time. And this shirt, let's make sure it's the right size. Yes! Yes! And it's even... There's even like a Halloween tag on it. But it is Run For Your Life, Haddonfield High Horror Track Team. That is sick. I love it. I love it. Love it to death. I'll wear it out. I'll wear it as pajamas. And everybody knows I wouldn't be running from Michael. I'll be running towards his big manly embrace. Right before he runs me through like a little bitch. And I'm fine with it. We all know we have a problem. I have a problem. You may not have a problem, but I have a problem. And I'm embracing it. So, whatever. Let's see what else is in here. Eww. Wait, what is this? A Ouija money clip. Now that's interesting. I would like to turn this into a piece of jewelry, actually. Look at this. That'd be cool for my drag altar to wear as, like, a necklace or something. Oh, or maybe I could put it in the hair. Like, a planchette jeweled item. You can even put like some kind of cool like crystal or jewel right there in the middle. Speaking of, did anybody get to see Ouija the Origin of Evil? Because it didn't come here. I think we're going to get it late, but I'm always late to the party with the horror movies recently, so I heard it was actually really really good and it's getting really good reviews. But if you've seen that, let me know, because I know the first one was a piece of shit. Or at least that's what I was told. Okay. Ooh. It's a Walking Dead journal. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if there's different ones. Mine has Michonne on it. Look at that. And it's like leathery bound. It's got the strap so you can uh, mark your pages. And it's got her twin swords on the back. 
that's really cool. Like, I have my journal and stuff, and I'm, like, I like Walking Dead, but I'm not, like, a huge proponent of it. So if anybody out there um, got a different one, or if they really want a Walking Dead journal, and they, they love Michonne, I mean, I love that character and stuff, but I'll probably never use this, so... I'll send it to you if you want. Um, maybe Allie, you want it? I don't know. You you get horror blocks. I saw that you posted a video, but I don't know. If you want another journal, maybe? I don't know. Let me know. People, let me know. Let me know. Because I don't want to just like sit around like gathering dust or anything. And I got a DVD, Demonic Toys. They want to play with you. I think that's really inappropriate. Everybody knows if something's going to play with me, it needs to be at least six feet tall. Just kidding. But at least higher than two feet. Like, who wants that? And then again, unless it's Chucky, because I have a soft, po soft spot for Chucky. So, I have never seen Demonic Toys before. It looks fucked up, and I'm fully prepared to watch it. Is it new? I don't know. No, it can't be new. Well, I mean, not that it can't be, but I don't think it is. That's cool. It's very cool to get a DVD in the pack. Oh, and I have a new pen for work. It's a Dexter pen. It looks like a syringe. Did I just break it? Did I just break my pen? Oh, no. I fixed it. Ha. <laughs> That's really cool, and it looks like it's got drippy blood in it. I will definitely use this at work. Being in reception, people will be like, you're messed up. I'm going to go to the next person at the desk, and I'll be like, that's fine. I was busy tweeting or twittering or whatever. I don't need to help you. Did anybody... Did anybody know there was going to be an autographed item in this freaking box? Because I just got Doug Bradley Pinhead's fucking autograph. Look at this. Look at this. This is like... <sighs> Last time was PJ Souls and now we get Doug Bradley. Oh my god. Now I have to find a frame, of course. I just have, like, pictures all over my house in frames, like, sitting on furniture stuff. Nobody I know. Just people I love. That's either a really cool statement or the most depressing thing I've ever said in my life. That is way cool, though. I am excited. I love me some Doug Bradley. I'm really concerned about the new Hellraiser. I mean, I know... There will be a new pen head and everything, but I don't know how to feel about that. I shouldn't even use the word pen head because he's actually the high priest. Has anybody read uh, uh, the Scarlet Gospels? I would love to see that as a movie. And of course we got Rue Morgue. Yay! Now I'll be going like, where's my Rue Morgue magazine? This doesn't count as a Rue Morgue magazine. I'm making a complete ass of myself. Because they sent us a, a book. So, I'm dumb. But I love, love, love Rue Morgue. Like I said, I read it on the turtlet. Or I leave it out on my coffee table. For when people come over and they stare at me with a little disturbance. So that's cool. Ooh! I have a Dexter card. I don't know why. Oh, it's a 30-day free trial at Showtime.com with Horror Block. And they have every single episode online, apparently. And we have more. Another $10 credit for Shirt Punch. And um, Nerd Block now has a store, I believe, which is cool. Which I really love, this shirt they are advertising, which is Holtzman from the new 
Ghostbusters. I know the new Ghostbusters. Love it or hate it, whatever. But I loved Holtz when she kills me. So, if they had a Kevin shirt, I would totally wear it. So, here's our little card talking about what came in the box. Which, got our t-shirt, got our DVD, got our autograph, got our pen, got our Ouija board planchette money clip flash piece of jewelry possibly maybe and our rumor magazine and the walking dead journal and use the hidden pocket in the back to hide your secret notes and it looks like there's a zombie one a rick grimes one and the michelle one so that's really cool i really like the zombie one because i just fucked up like that so there's that and next box our november box next month's horror block will include a terrifyingly exclusive item from gremlins yas queens because i love the gremlins t-shirt that we got the midnight madness one not too long ago we need some more gremlin stuff and festively gruesome items from freddie and jason and krampus and more so I am eagerly anticipating the holiday box. God, if we're gonna have Christmas stuff in our November box, what's gonna be in the December box? What's it gonna be? I don't know. Um, what did everybody think about your horror box? Do you think this was a good block? Do you think it was a bad block? Do you think it was a mediocre block? I know people were uh, frustrated about like them overdoing it on the zombie stuff and the Walking Dead stuff for a while, but I think this is a really quality item. It's solid. It's 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 thick and juicy or something but if anybody would like this then let me know or if you want to trade something for it let me know and all that stuff because i like to share my toys and uh yeah so that's my unboxing oh get my t-shirt back <laughs> that's my unboxing for today i'm so glad it finally showed up I hopefully will be getting my horror pack in soon. And yeah, so I hope everybody's doing well. Sorry I've been out of commission. Uh, been like weird health shit and stuff. So um, I may make a video about that. I may just babble on and just occasionally I'll just say random stuff and you'll be like, what the fuck does that mean? And then I'll explain it and then you'll know everything. But, um, yeah, otherwise things are good. Uh, daylight savings time ended. So now it's dark when I come home from work, which means I need to go shopping for Christmas lights or Krampus lights, as it were. And uh, also, tomorrow is the big day to vote. So if you haven't voted, go vote. Make a difference. Whoever you're voting for, you can't bitch and whine if you don't vote. So go make your American voice heard and stuff and also side note uh i have a question for you guys comment down below please um when you like comment and subscribe if you haven't done it already but comment down below i am thinking of exploring my movie critiquing side not just horror movies but other movies because i see a lot of movies whenever i can i just saw a few this past couple of weeks that i'd really like to talk about and more importantly i would like to geek out on my comic book movies and stuff like that um i had a friend who ordered this book before they saw the movie and they decided they did not like the movie so they gave me the book which one man's trash is another man's masturbatory material which is the art of Batman v Superman because I love this movie and the extended cut and I love Batfleck and I love Henry Cavill and I want to do a video in defense of my soups, my Superman. I know, I know, a lot of people think Superman is boring and a lot of people think that Christopher Reeve was the only Superman but I would like to talk about the Supermans that I've had growing up with because Christopher Reeve will always be my guy but I have good things and bad things to say about all the other Supermans, all the other incarnations. So do you think that would be welcome on my channel that I could talk about other movies? Would you listen? Would you talk? Would you like throw shade at me across the internets? Let me know. 
And that's my thought process for the moment. Otherwise, I will be looking forward to the horror pack and some other horror goodies coming up. I believe we just gonna be here soon. If it is, I will review it because I love you. And I love myself. So until next time, keep your fingers on the planchette and keep your hands to yourself. Bye. Thousand points of light, and above it the star.